Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. In our previous tutorial so far, we had learned about difference, union and various operations regarding all these techniques used in Inkscape. Now in this part, we will be knowing all about intersection operation in Inkscape. Now in our last tutorial, we had learned about union between an object and a path. In this tutorial, in the first case, we will be learning all about intersection between the objects. We will be taking up two different objects like the rectangle and the circle and we will be altering the levels of these individual subjects and moreover, we will be observing the effect onto individual paths and in the last case, we will be knowing about some tricks that will be discussed in the session. So stay tuned. Now in the first case, this is the case one where we will be analyzing the intersection between two objects where the bottom leveled element is a circle and the top leveled element is a rectangle. We'll be first heading back to our Inkscape canvas and we'll see this in live demonstration. So let's head back. And here it is. This is the Inkscape document that we are currently working on. This is another new canvas here. And this is in the first place, this is the circle, which we'll be placing at the bottom first. So we had created this circle and we may alter this dimension right over here. So hit and press down this shift and control button. And you can see that the circle is now changing its dimension while maintaining its aspect ratio. So the circle will be at the bottom first and then we will be creating a rectangle right over here. So this is another rectangle here. And of, of course, all we are going to do to understand the Inkscape intersection operation better, all we need to do, we need to change the fill and stroke color properties. So I'll be heading back to this bottom color palette here and First of all, I will be changing the fill and stroke color into something different. In this case, I have chosen this fill color as the yellow one and the stroke color as the red one. Now we have two different objects right over here. The bottom level object here is a circle and the top level object here is a rectangle. Now if we hold and press down the shift key, and select both of them. And now if we head back to this topmost panel and from this path, if we now choose this intersection operation, we can see that the bottom level circle element and the top level rectangle element, both are practically gone, both, both are practically disappeared. But the arc, which is the intersection between these both these objects here, for say this circle and the rectangle, it practically resides and the color fill and stroke properties of the bottom level element is being reflected into that individual arc. So this is what practically the escape intersection operation does. It practically retains the intersecting points between any objects, between any path and between an object and a path. This is the first case here. Now, if we head back to this intersection case study 2, we can see that the intersection between the objects where rectangle is now at the bottom part and the circle is on the top part. So, we will be observing the outcome of this possible incidence where, where the bottom level element is a rectangle and the top level element is a circle. And this is the status, this is the result of that intersection operation where the intersection part of both the elements should remain and the fill and stroke color properties of the top level circle is set as the bottom level rectangle here. Now we will be observing this phenomena into our Inkscape document and in the first case we will be now drawing a rectangle at the bottom. This is the first case and in the next case we will be creating another circle right over here. Now, of course, we'll be changing the fill color and stroke color properties of this individual circle. So we'll be getting back to this bottom palette here. 
and we will be changing it to into something different like this blue as the fill color property and this pink as the stroke color property. There it goes. And here comes the intersection point. So we will be choosing this one to do. So what it will be doing right over here if we carry out the intersection operation in both cases on both these objects. The result should be the intersecting part that means the part of the circle, the part of the top level circle which is lying above the rectangular box element right below of this top level circle, that intersection point should be retained in the document and the rest of these objects, rest of the parts of these objects, that means this uh, circle and this rectangle, they should disappear. So this is the major thing that we should be observing, we should be expecting in this possible case. This is what has been seen right over here that the arc section that practically resides over the rectangle, it practically resides and the rest of the part of both this rectangle and the circle is practically disappeared. So the same thing should be observed right over here, right into this individual case. So if we hold and press down this shift key and if we select both the objects here, the bottom level rectangle and the top level circle and if we now head back to this top tools panel and if we click on this path intersection and we can see that only the arc section which is the common intersection point of that individual circle and the rectangle is practically residing and the rest of the parts those are practically disappeared and the color fill and stroke properties of that individual arc being generated due to this intersection operation, it practically holds on the same color fill and stroke properties of the bottom leveled rectangle element. There it goes.